All right. Let's just open up in prayer. Thank you, Lord, for uh, everyone that's listening. I pray that everyone be encouraged, everyone be uplifted, and uh, you be glorified. And uh, we give you all the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. So, welcome, everybody. This is the Fight of Faith podcast. My name is Justin, and uh, yeah, welcome. This is the first episode, and uh, I decided what what we're going to do here is have separate episodes um, for one for scripture and encouragement and inspiration, and uh, I'm going to try to do other episodes dedicated to fighting or UFC, Bellator, MMA in general. But hopefully everyone can uh, enjoy and listen. And uh, obviously, if you're listening, you figure it out how to listen. But if you uh, are hearing this on Facebook or YouTube and don't know how, go ahead and add me on the Facebook uh, like page. Uh, Go ahead and you can listen on the podcast app um, if you have Apple or iPhone. And for Android users... You can download the podcast on Spreaker with an R. You can download the podcast with Stitcher Radio. And uh, I'm even going to try to get this thing on iHeartRadio. So hopefully that works out. And um, yeah, I'm glad you guys joined. Um, So let me just break down of what we're going to be talking about here on the podcast. On the Fight of Faith podcast, we're going to talk about um, basically Christianity, about inspiration, encouragement, and uh, hopefully you guys can listen to this. And uh, if you're on the job or if you're driving or on your commute, whatever whatever you're doing, um, hopefully this can be some, uh, some spark in your day, uh, shed a little light um, in the darkness. Amen. So um, I want to break down scripture because we're going to have devotions here. But um, I think the very foundational scripture that we could talk about um, and that pretty much sums up what we believe as Christians. You got to bring in John three sixteen, man. And for those of you that already know what it means, um, I want to encourage everybody to listen up because uh, scripture can be easily overlooked and seen as cliche. But I want to encourage everyone to remember that even the simplest things can be just, you know, uh, seen as, oh, I already know that. Oh yeah, I've heard that before. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. No, man, if we, if we keep an open mind to hear, even if we think we know, there's always room for growth and to learn. Right. So, um, cause sometimes the gospel and truth is just so simple that it seems too good to be true, you know? So, so, if you if you want to turn along, it's in the book of John in the New Testament, and that's chapter three, verse sixteen, and very foundational scripture for Christianity. And let me break this down for you guys real quick. It says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, and whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So let's break that down, you know, um, in phrases. So for God so loved the world means that God is love. And God loves you, even if you're not a Christian. God loves you, even if you don't go to church. Um, for God so loved the whole world. He loves everybody. He loves the atheist. He loves the Christian. He loves uh, any race, any nationality, any human being. We're all potentially God's children. And I want to encourage you to remember that. Um, especially when it goes to the next part. It goes, for God so loved the world that he gave, he gave his only begotten son. So that means also not does God only love you, but he blessed you with something. He, he's a giver. He wants you to be blessed. Uh, God isn't the one putting sickness on you or disease or giving you all these hard times to try to humble you or uh, because you're a sinner or anything like that. God doesn't operate like that. He's he's in the blessing business. And uh, because if he gave his only begotten son, begotten, what does that mean? Well, begotten mean, basically is just a fancy word for 
someone who was born or uh, someone that was birthed forth, that's the only one that was begotten of the Father is Jesus because he was born of a virgin, right? So for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him, that means whoever, man. It doesn't matter where you come from, what you believe. It doesn't matter what, like, as in like your religious background or um, what was your, um, the town you grew up in, your demographic, your age, your race, none of that matters. Only prerequisite to knowing Jesus is to believe. That's it. So whoever believes in him, whoever believes, shall not perish but have everlasting life. Amen. So that so if you believe in him, you're not going to perish, man. If you have faith in Jesus, he is going to show himself strong in you and he's going to make himself evident in your life. And I know it sounds crazy because we don't technically see God with our own eyes, but that's the whole thing point of faith right is beyond our senses it's beyond what we feel what we can touch or what we can see it's beyond all that it's whoever just believes in him and when it says perish you shall not perish but have everlasting life we're not talking about just in the afterlife it's not talking about just you're not going to go to hell and you're going to go to heaven that's great news but what's even better news that you can have blessings right now is that you can be encouraged and have faith, know that, that you can have blessings in this life. You don't have to perish in this life. You don't have to act humble and settle for the least. You don't have to be broke. You don't have to be sick. You don't have to settle for things like that because God loves you and he's blessed you. So hopefully that gave you guys some encouragement. And that's basically the foundation of Christianity. And it's not about, uh, uh, you know, um, that I'm not here to talk down to anybody. I'm not down. I'm not here to just, uh, you know, down what you believe, whatever. I'm just here to uplift Jesus and hopefully uh, lift you up in the process. You know what I mean? It was just here to glorify God. And uh, and I have some friends that may not be Christian, but that's okay. I, I ho Hopefully you guys can just still enjoy yourselves in other segments, you know, with the UFC or with some encouragement, with some inspirations. And by the way, with encouragement, um, feel free to hit me up anytime to t to comment or text uh, you know, to the to the page or, or message, whatever. If you have questions or advice or you need some encouragement, just just uh, hit the page up and we can answer it on the show. And because maybe what you're going through, uh, someone else can relate to, you know, and can and it'll bless someone else, you know, and we can all support one another. So, um, also, um, uh, I want to also show you guys what it really means to just walk in love, man. I, I just, I just want to encourage you guys to just walk in love with every single person that, that you don't, you know, you're not going to walk in and hate. You're not going to walk in, uh, in discouragement. You're not going to walk and, you know, in negativity, no, love the life you're blessed with, love the people that God placed in your life. And because life is just but a vapor, man, and life can be cut short at any moment in a twinkling of an eye. So the number one most important thing is, is just to have Jesus in your heart, you know, and, and that's the number one important, most important thing. And if you don't know Jesus, and if you uh, are curious to just to see, okay, you know, what is this about? Uh, yeah, I know Justin from high school or whatever, and he's uh, he's always been a Christian guy, but I never really experienced that myself. Test God. Go ahead. Just if you have the faith to pray this and believe it, watch God move in your life. Watch God change your life from the inside out. And I want to encourage you guys to pray with me. But I want to also encourage you in this fact that just because you pray, it doesn't mean life is going to change all of a sudden. Sometimes it does, you know, whatever God's will uh, is for, for that situation or that circumstance. But most of the time, God wants us to grow surely and slowly and because uh, it takes a while for us to get how we are. So it's going to take a while for him to make those necessary changes to be who we're called to be. Amen. So if you feel that 
you want to give Jesus a try and you're done doing it your own way and you want to just reach out by faith and receive God into your life and you feel that there's more to this life than just paying bills and working and and more to life than just been, being in that process over and over again, going nowhere, I want you to repeat after me and say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. And I need you. I love you. I believe in you. And I believe you rose again. Come into my heart and be the king of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, if you said that, just have some faith, man. You may not feel different. You may not look different, whatever. That's not what matters. What matters is that if you have the faith to say that, that means you're one of the people that is in reference to John 3.16. Whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Congratulations, my friend. You're one of those that believe. So uh, if you said that prayer for the first time, um, I know it's weird, but if you don't want to comment, uh, you can message me. If you said that for the first time and just uh, we can talk about it and uh, we're here to support one another. Amen. But also, also on a further note, um, I got to mention this, man, because this is the fight of faith. Right. And I'm super excited for this weekend. I believe it's this weekend. And that's that's the UFC event coming up. And that's uh, Francis Naganu versus Stipe Miocic. Oh, my God. This is going to be so awesome because. Um, if we're going to be, if we're going to be watching UFC and talking about UFC, we got to talk about this, man. We got to talk about this. We got to talk about how amazing this main event is going to be. And that's all I'm going to talk about because, uh, I don't have all the time in the world, but, um, I want to, I want to break down what, what Francis Naganu can do and what Stipe can do. And I think we're going to have a new heavyweight champion. Because Stipe is huge. He cuts down to 250, 260. He has to cut weight to make that weight. He is huge. He came to my barbershop at In The Cut while I was not there with my luck. And uh, so <laughs> I didn't get to meet him, but he is in the Vegas area. He, he, he works out at the Las Vegas Performance Institute out in Vegas. And uh, he he's always there every day working hard, grinding. But... um. He is the power puncher. He is the heavy hitter. And if you have not seen his knockout with Alistair Overeem, you got to YouTube it, man. It will change your life. That thing was monstrous. That uppercut came from nowhere, and it just set Alistair to outer space, bro. It, it, <laughs> Alistair Overeem, literally, I thought I, I thought he died. <laughs> that that hit was so hard, dude. Like it it set him flying, and he didn't move. After the fight, after the knockout, he didn't move for like five, ten minutes. He was there. And that's why I legit thought he passed. And I just thought I saw some history changing stuff, man. That that was that was amazing. Um, but he's cool. Alistair is a champ. He's he's um not literally, but you know, he's a people's cha- he's a people's champ. Excuse me. And uh but you know, he's just one of those guys that always falls short, you know. But with Stipe, um, He's next, man. Uh, Stipe is coming up, and uh, he is defending his title. And if he defends this title successfully against Francis, that means that he is going to uh, be breaking a record because I believe the record is three consecutive title uh, defenses for the heavyweight title in the UFC because it just moves so much. The heavyweight division is uh, pretty raw, and there's a lot of diverse talent. Uh, but if he defeats... Francis Ngannou, then he's going to be the one to uh, successfully defend the title three times in a row. Uh, so that's big news. I'm looking forward to that. I believe that's going to be in Boston, and uh, that's going to be good news. So, And uh, hit me up, too, if you're into MMA. I need some uh, more MMA friends. Uh, go ahead and let me know your interest, if you like the podcast or not. If, uh, Like I said, um, I know it's a random to jump topic, but I'm going to have separate episodes from now on for just the UFC stuff and the MMA stuff and also for the faith and encouragement stuff that will be on a separate episode as well because we're all fighters. I want you guys to remember that we're all fighters. We're all in this life together. Um, and I was thinking of a thought of, uh, of what I was um, kind of meditating on is the thought of 
Um, nothing is, nothing good is done on autopilot. I'll say that again more clear, that nothing good in life gets done on autopilot. And uh, that kind of encourages the fact that this life is an uphill battle. Everything is going to take some fight and some grit. It's going to take some, some strength. Sometimes it's going to take some strength that you don't have. Sometimes, and most of the time, you're going to have to rely on the Lord for strength. And uh, that's why some Christians, man, you can see them, they're just always supernaturally happy and just always so cheerful and positive. And it's not just because of personality. Anyone can literally be like that. But it just takes discipline to just pray, to stay built up in your faith, read your word, spend time with your father. Uh, wherever you go, you know, God said he'll never leave you nor forsake you. You're never alone, man. And uh, just remember that, that, you're, that your heavenly father loves you. He will, he will never be disappointed in you. There's nothing you can do to make him more proud of you. It's it, his love is just so amazing and everlasting and unconditional. And I'm not just, you know, I'm not just making any of this up. This is all lining up with the word of God. This is what he wills for all of us to know. So if you don't know these things, I want to encourage you to pick up that Bible uh, to to really get involved in a church, to really make sure the church is word based, based off the Bible and uh and just really dig deep, seek your creator, you know what I mean? And uh, that's going to be like the huge light bulb that goes on your head. It's like, wow, this is what I've been missing all along. Um, so hopefully, you know, that can shed some light on some unanswered questions in life. Um, if you have some questions that you have, why not ask the person who gave you life, you know? Um, so in closing, I want to encourage every single one of you. I want to... I want you guys to to take that another step of faith. If you're in the Las Vegas area and you don't have a church to go to and you, and you don't like to go to church or you, you haven't been to church, whatever, why don't, you give, uh, why don't you give my church a try? It doesn't have to be my church. Just find a church, but I know my church. Uh, we teach the uncompromised word of God at Thy Word Ministries Las Vegas. And... Uh, Address is 5820 South Pecos Road in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's on Pecos in between Russell and Patrick, if you know the area. So feel free to stop by. Um, Sunday starts uh, at 9 o'clock, prayer, and then praise and worship starts at 10. So if you feel like taking that step of faith and coming to check out and see if you would like the family, uh, go ahead. I look forward to seeing you guys. But uh, until then, I want to... Uh, this is just a short episode, just kind of like a pilot episode one. Hopefully, wherever you listen to uh, listen to this, um, on YouTube or on Facebook or on the mobile apps that I mentioned, uh, at the workplace or at home, whatever, wherever you are, remember God is with you, and He is there to give you strength to keep fighting the good fight of faith. Right. So stay prayed up, keep the faith up. If you guys ever need me, go ahead, shoot a comment to the page. And uh, we can give some advice on air or on off, off air, whatever. But um, to God be all the glory. I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed yourselves and uh, more content to come. This is just like a like an icebreaker. So hopefully uh, you guys remember Jesus is Lord and to keep fighting the good fight of faith. And God bless. Peace. <laughs>